Dit was die drie sy vir Johanlo Samoa, oia ons die ethnomusicologist my die universiteelia met die pondie ons die dalia. Be on to twilight, if I tell to sing a toy telephone to the divine or laoli. Yeah, but if I find a last so I return my law, so I formally lang ye, mamma. Yeah, fat talafatu, le pa eo samo, pot potso, lo on my mama, fat for my male, nefa salonga, after lava moline, I have a noa. Thank you, Sir Mono, for having me this afternoon. Yes, technology can be good to us sometimes. Hey, for the time, yeah, don't if I be out to where the technology says, so my so come with four, four, and two, yeah, yellow for a feet. Holy Rita, what the Vesi, yes, I'm more, I'm not like I'm more, I'm not like I'm not to her. I upu, or the VE, or the Sao Lotonga, or the time to what to know. Or the matter for you, a oele to my time. Or the hour winner, yeah, le or the Ole, awa wina le ole tu langa le ole fatu ina musika ma upo pesi ole ale sa onga ole muda fa yoi pe ole ngalu el ni bingja. Yeah, o ole time ni malu tu fing malu ngalu el ngalu ngalu el ni o awa ole ethnomusicologist so te su su ina le mata upo le ole pesi sa moa. Su su ina pesi so su ina pesi sa moa lo. At the moment, so my PhD ole maka upo la PhD ole pesi ole fatu falenga as it took place in Aotearoa uh, during the settlement years. But right now, this very week, I've been busy with researching our Samoa National Anthem. Samoa. <laughs> This is the original national anthem, Nga Whaile Kauvanga, Suese Pese, you know, to be the anthem for Samoa in 1948. And remember, Le Keminga, that Samoa was not independent. There was a time when Samoa was fighting for self-governance. Uh, so in 1948 is the year, it's a very important year. That's the year that the UN conferred self-governance to Samoa and basically saying to Samoa, you you can now go ahead and prepare for your independence, which we know happened in 1962. So in 1948, there was 15 um, compositions that were submitted and Saoni Inga Kuresa's Bese was the winner. And so that was the Bese that they chose to be the vi'i for Samoa at the time. Yeah, so that's the one, Eile Lenga, you know, or Samoa Wamafei on a Tautai. So that's why that line is there, because it speaks to the way our ancestors were so desperate to take back Samoa. Um, for those of us who were born after independence, we take that for granted. We we don't understand what it's like to fight for a country. Uh, so that is the time. That's why that line is there. Uh, oile Kemi on independence, Ile Tasiva Morua, yeah. Somewhere along the way, maybe some of the words were changed because people were saying there's not enough reference to Christ, there's not enough reference to the Christian God. So that is why they took out that line and brought in the one about, you know, Jesus Christ. And so that's the anthem that we all know. Uh, and then the third version, around 1986, is the publication of the Ina Pepeseia, or Likusi Pepeseilemole, um, if I can say. And in the in the IPI, there is a version of Samoa Tulai, um, and that's just a simple arrangement by Weta Solomona and Vavai Toma. They didn't really touch the anthem. All they did was just bring back, change, move around some lines. But one of the biggest things that they did was they took away the line that came in 1962 and they brought back. Um, Kuresa's original line or Samoa Wamafei on a Tautai. So that is, that means that we have about three versions, and the version three is the version that we heard at Chogam. But, Oli, Olo no winga la, e tolu, tolu vi e ole tan tu sa lo tonga. Baenga mo moele i tu to tasi sa mo, ole vi e lona lua le wa fa popo ye mo tu ma nga fa kirishiano, tel tu nga fa kirishiano. Yeah, yeah it, 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 it feels like there's three different um, anthems, but they're all the same 
anthem just with three different versions. And I don't know much about why there are three different versions, you know, or lot more me on a fire barely sailing on one of Ainga Leo or the Talafa Solo Pito. There needs to be more research. But uh, this whole experience has highlighted that we need to document the changes of our national anthem um, so that we can understand generations later why the changes, because a lot of people were not happy with the version that was performed at Chogim. But this also highlights Eliaisetula Fono around the national anthem. There is a Flag Bearers and National Anthem Act for the government of Samoa. And the only kula fungo regarding the anthem is that, number one, it has to be the Samoa Tulai, and number two, no one is allowed to insult the anthem at the time of the anthem being sung or performed. There's no kula fungo saying that you are not allowed to change the anthem. Um, so maybe this is something for the government of Samoa to look into because it got people, you know, very upset. Mm. So, Olea so Oela Ngonayi, Olewa Manino, a tolu yeah arrangement or a dan to vi I as a, an ethnomusicologist, what's your take on the latest uh, version in Danto Falongolongo Yele Ile Choko? Yeah, so for the field of ethnomusicology, basically all I do is I look at the use of Bessie and it gives us a picture into the mindset of the people at the time. So it's music in context. And as I was explaining before, the three different versions really highlight and it really is a window into Samoan history and mm. the way our people think at the time. Mm. And so you can see clearly through the different versions of the anthem that number one, our people were desperate for self-governance and independence. Number two, we wanted to make sure that there's more reference to Christianity. And number three, it could be that um, the arrangement, it could be that the composers at that time just wanted to make sure that that line, or Samoa, Wama Fei, or Natal they wanted to make sure that we remember the fight for independence of our ancestors, because that is also another very important aspect of the anthem. Mm. Yeah, I don't It really is um, a preference for the people because at the end of the day, you can say that, you know, the Chogum version, it was performed by our theological colleges. And so I guess how much more godly can you get? You know, if you think about who sang the anthem for us, it was our, our um, ministry, those who are in the ministry. And so that is something to be proud of. And I think it does speak to the fact that maybe the government of Samoa should look closely into the way the anthem stands. Um, maybe you can put it to a vote to the people or just leave it in the hands of the government to put the rule out there, bring this line, either it's going to be that line or that line, and then just be done with it. But at the end of the day, um, the, the anthem still says, you know, Samoa, you know, you know, it's still there. Those words are still there. So it's not saying that we don't um, value Christ in our lives by taking that line out. It could be that just whoever arranged it at that time, they just wanted to make sure that we remember the fight for independence. Because I think even today, even though we are an independent state, we should still remember the plight of our ancestors. O wal wak wale wa u ya pou le fo ya u ya le version no te fang ain o kele da ves kula fo wa Maybe you'll get in trouble you don't Facebook but uh, <laughs> legally you have a it looks like you have a right but uh this whole experience it highlights um the need for maybe some firm rules around uh you know bring some kula fo around the national anthem but it's really good to see that the people do care about the vi um, and so I was happy to be of use uh, to help to Fasor and, and tell people about the history of our anthem. Mm. All right. Now, how long do you uh, have to go before we see the doctor before Rita? Or, doc yeah, before the name Rita. 
Yeah, well, you let me know. Yeah, what were for my I you know the fight long the PhD. I have submitted it. I'm just waiting for the final finish. Um, I'm just sitting here waiting to say congratulations. So maybe a few months. My love, I'll take. Is it hard to be in your field? Do you have to be passionate, or can you be anybody that wants to be in your field of study? Yes. Well. The awala that I went through, ah, mo mo nga mawala o failonga o le Bachelor of Music. Kusa o o levanga o nga lue linga luenga fa fa pese mo le fa kasa. Since the age of ten, I was a kapiango. Ah, and then I did a Bachelor of Music. Ma walo ma le Bachelor of Music with honors. Then I went into the Masters, straight into the PhD. So uh, I chose ethnomusicology because that was the awala for me to research pese sa mo. I am very passionate about. My cultural music, and yes, to your question, what you need, I think you need to be very passionate about Bisi. Um, it's good to have a musical bra- um, background because there are some things that I'm able to talk about in terms of melody, my fati, my pao, you know, things like that that you can explain as a musician. But uh, I think anyone can do it. Um, we have a lot of fatu Bisi in Samoa and in Samoan communities who have very expert knowledge. And that is something that I respect highly, and so that's some, that's why I wanted to do this research because I think uh, a lot of our fatu bese are not celebrated enough. I think bese is another mesina for Samoa as well. You know, we should be celebrating our fatu bese because if we look in history, our bese is the record of history um, of things that have happened and. This, this anthem is an example of history happening right for in our lyrics. And so I would welcome anyone who wants to be in the field of ethnomusicology to please uh, come and join me. There's lots of work to do. Mm. And uh, before you, uh, we wrap it up this afternoon, which version would you go for? I will go for the original, version one. Mm. Um and the because reason being, it's a good reminder that we don't take our independence for granted. Uh huh. And uh, any message for uh, your families and friends uh, watching this afternoon and uh, tuning in? Uh, yes, everyone, uh, keep um, promoting Bessie Samoa. Uh, I think it's something I, I I love very much, and I would love to. Uh, I would love for more people to be talking about it. So I was very happy to uh, talk about Bisi Samoa for the community. It's a good way to uh my expertise, Lea, Ile Maka Okulea. But, um, you know, te whaptai, mole whaagwa noa ina, mole o tautai mi mai moa, ma whaapunga mai. Whaama lulu atu fo i bea whai wa sala se ngano le au auna, whaama lulu atu mai a ma lui fale la o tō whina ngano se se awa e le atu tō le au auna. Ai whaptai lava mone nei awa noa. Mole Angela Gang of Taya, Rita Molavno, Dan to Fat Soi, Michel of Fidangal Fatlia, Ele to Blanga Pione Yaya, Nalwing Fort Yolong Alway, Oil and Tina, Paul to make the exam of Foy, Eto Tonu or Ausitalia, Tony Munwe, young Alwing of Finger Yay, Munwe for Ilang and to Elefai Ungolini to Sanga and Tan to Toyfilo and Sansu Momoa, Elelo for Melanga Leo Leto. I love her. Le tumita ya rita se tafa balala o ia o si ethnomusicologist wa mawa fuit mala upufo a e ma faifo le ringo mi mika wa isis kanga kairing iyasu.